Perfect. Uh, welcome. My name is Gail Boxrud. I'm the director of Minnesota for the International Krav Maga Federation. Um, this is my partner, Dante Pastrano. We own uh, the school called Krav Maga Minneapolis. Krav Maga is a very simple, intuitive self-defense system. Our primary focus is uh, civilian self-defense, but we have special programs for police. We have uh, a special program for women and uh, Krav Maga and bicycles. For, so it's all self-defense. It's all based on your intuitive reaction to an attack and a situation where you have to fight. You're, you've been caught off guard and you're put in a bad situation and you have to fight for your life. So that said, it's, it's very simple, easy to learn, easy to retain. I've been training in it for almost 10 years now and I started when I was 43 and I'm 53 now so you don't have to start when you're a kid to, to be able to use this. And Dante comes from a more traditional martial arts background but uh, we've been, he's been teaching, we've had our school for five years now. So we're gonna start with some demonstrations. This is a situation where the most common attack against women, against men, is what we call a haymaker punch or a slap. Again. So, as you can see, I'm not fighting fair. I'm fighting dirty. He's attacked me. I'm protecting myself. I'm striking. Normally, I go to the nose just for safety's sake so I don't break his nose. I'm hitting him in the forehead, kick to the groin. If, he's, if it's not safe to go away, I'm going to keep going until it's safe to get away. Our, our goal is not to win a fight. Our goal is to protect ourselves. This could be the same attack, whether it's with the fist, same thing. Whether it's with uh, a knife, same thing. A lot of times on the street you won't see if there's a knife involved, and so we want to, we have the same defense for the same attack. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go what we call ping pong. I'm going to attack him, he's going to attack me, and we'll just show you a, a, this a little more dynamically. Okay? Okay, so that said, we covered the 360 defense covers from all different angles. Say I'm to the side and he attacks me from here. I still can defend. He attacks from this side. If he attacks me from this side. Again, it's very intuitive. My natural reaction to something coming at my head is my hands come up. Then we add the hands between here, and then we, and it's a very strong defense. 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. If you look, how strong that defense is. Obviously, I don't want to stay here very long. Again, here. Okay, so that said, just because I know a good self-defense doesn't mean I want to get, let him get it that close. So if he's, for instance, I, I know he's a threat and he's scaring me, I'm going to use my other weapons before him. Now, if he's just trying to maybe grab my uh, throat, I'll do it inside. Again. It's just, uh, he's, he's reaching for me. I don't want to allow him to. I'm redirecting his hands. I'm attacking vulnerable targets. Okay, so now I'm going to show how this, this works into several. When, one thing we do is we do consistent attacks, consistent body movements. So if he's punching me, notice I'm doing the same thing. If he's... 
Again, now I'm going to punch him. And same thing. So he's punching me. Go with the knife. So, consistent movement. So, if he's coming at me with a knife, I'm going to do the same thing. All very consistent movement. It's, that's what we call our inside defense against a direct attack. Now, say he's caught me off guard. I didn't get my hands up, and he's, he's gotten his hands on, say, for a choke. Okay. Again, I'll go after you. Again, very instinctual. I can't breathe. He's got his hands around my neck. It, uh, he's doing what we call a plucking defense. His elbows are high. He's using the lats in his back to defend. He's doing a simultaneous counterattack to the groin. And then attacking the face, either open hand or with the fist. I'm breaking his knee so I can run away. Again, remember, this is, this is about saving your life. You've been attacked. So say he's uh, it's a more aggressive choke, and he's pushing. Lost my earpiece here. Sorry. Again, I'm, uh, the, the instinctual part of this is He's catching himself. He's using, attacking vulnerable targets. So the power to this isn't, I'm not going muscle to muscle with any of this. I'm pushing, I'm attacking his throat. He's using his whole body to break my choke and then counterattack. Okay? So, other variations to this would be maybe from the side. Choke me from the side. Let me get you. Again, simple moves. I can't breathe. I'm going to the threat if he's choking me here. And this will work because it's explosive, and I'm going there. So see, all I need is a couple, couple inches here. My elbow comes up into his chin. Break his knee so he can't chase me. Oops. From behind, same thing. He's choking me. So it's defending your life, counterattacking as quickly as possible, and escaping. The, the kick to the knee, the kick to the groin are meant to be disabling so they can't come after you. So you can run away. You notice when we finish any of these, we're looking around. We're looking around because bad guys often travel in groups and we always assume there's more than one bad guy. So we're turning, we're looking, we're scanning, making sure we're not escaping one bad guy and running into the arms of another. Okay. Now, another, this is a, attacks from the back are common because it's easy to sneak up, easier to sneak up on somebody from behind. That's why awareness is huge. So for us, we, we, we can prevent a lot of this by paying attention, but you know how that is. We're always multitasking. We're all too busy and talking on the phone and the groceries. Bad guy sneaks up behind. That's a situation where the attack itself isn't life-threatening, but what does he want to do? Stuff me into a car, take me someplace, throw me to the ground. 
So there's, it's still, we react as audits. So other variations to this are, my arms are trapped. And you notice, I'm not trading punches with this guy because he's a lot bigger and a lot stronger. Uh, worst case scenario, he picks me up. <laughs> Again, I don't know if you could see where that one, but we'll see it from the side. These work from the front. Um, this is probably more common against for women. You know, if he's, my arms are free. <coughs> arms trapped, arms free. See, he doesn't pick me up. We've got to. So, how are we doing time? Two minutes left? Okay. Um, what we'd like to do is finish up with just a quick ping pong back and forth. I'm afraid this might blow off of me in the middle of it, but uh, we also, you saw some knife defenses. We use gun, we use bats. So this is, this is foam, just so you guys know. So there won't be any blood, but nice foam. A very common attack in the United States because of the popularity of baseball is baseball attack. Again, very dangerous, very dangerous. With that, with, it, with any stick attack, what we're doing is we're running in. We've got to, the most dangerous part is the end. So we've got to get in close, protect our body as best we can. Okay. And let's see, where are we at? Th that's it? Okay. We're fine. Okay, I just wanted to show a couple gun real quick. And I want to emphasize that we are not fighting for wallets and things. Somebody comes up to me with a gun and says, give me your money, they can have it. This is, this is a situation where he's telling me to get in a car. He's telling me to get in the building, um, drag me in an alley. Guns to the back, so he's got to look. Get in the car. He's attacking my face, the groin. Taking the gun and moving away and looking for my friends. Okay. Hmm? Now we've got we've got a lot of different variations to this. Maybe this one. Get in the car. Okay. All of our defenses are 200% defense. We do hand defense and body defense. So body defense is moving head forward. Hand defense. Hand defense. This way. Yep. Catching. Do at the same time. One, two. Knee strike, punch. Okay. 
So I think we're out of, out of time. A little longer? Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, sorry. Give me the money. Give me the money right now. You can, you can. Say your prayers, buddy. Say your prayers. Get in the car. Again, 200% defense. He's being very mindful of where that gun is pointing. Counterattacking as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah. Um, Counterattacking as quickly as possible. With knives, we don't usually worry about do taking stuff away, but with guns, we usually take them away. We don't encourage you to, to use them against the person. The, the goal, again, is to save your life, not to, not to win a fight or not to play police. They, they, that's their job. Okay? Um, any, any questions about what we do, why we do it? Questions? Questions? And we have fun. Uh, one of the things we, we really emphasize is multiple attackers. We always assume there's more than one bad guy. There's just two of us here today, but we'll, we'll do a lot of drilling, even in the beginner classes. Maybe you're in a fight, you're, you're fighting somebody, and their friend comes to help, tries to choke you or pull you away, grab, grab you, take you into a car. Again, this is about saving your life, not saving your things, not, not, not about money. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you very much.